Good day to you learners. In this video, you will be learning the real-world applications of derivatives. These are rectilinear motion and optimization. By knowing the relevance of derivatives to each of these topics, we can determine how these topics or examples are laid out. In rectilinear motion, the relevance of their derivatives is that it determines several things such as the position of the moving object, velocity, displacement, time taken to reach a certain distance, and etc. Assuming that the distance is a function with respect to time denoted as s equals f of t, its derivative can be considered as its instantaneous velocity or simply velocity which is denoted as v equals the first derivative of f. Moreover, the derivative of the velocity function with respect to time is called instantaneous acceleration or simply acceleration. Denoted as a equals the second derivative of f of t. Note that when velocity is zero, it might mean that the object has stopped or changed its direction. The first example of the real-world application of derivatives is this. A car moves along a straight line that follows the function s of t equals 3t squared minus 16t minus 187, where time or t is greater than or equal to 0 in seconds. So the question is, how long will it take for the car to reach its destination at 88 meters? We'll find out. So, in this problem, first we'll have to take the distance of the function, which is 88 meters. Then substitute 88 meters to the distance, which is s of t. And then con combine like terms. After combining like terms, you now get 0 equals 3t squared minus 16t minus 99. Then, simplify the equation. After simplifying the equation, you now get 0 equals 3t plus 11 times t minus 9. Then, you solve for t. After solving for t, you now have the result of negative 11 over 3 and 9. So after analyzing both the answers, negative 11 over 3 is not more than or equal to 0. That means it does not complete the condition of the problem, which means that it takes 9 seconds to reach 88 meters. In optimization, the relevance of the derivative is finding the extreme values of the function to determine if the function is increasing and or decreasing. Before going to the second real-world application of derivatives, we should consider the importance or the meaning of extreme values. The extreme values will guide us to find the maximum and or minimum values needed in this situation, or in this case, the second real-world application. So, in the second real-world application of derivatives is this. RJ has a total of 3,600 feet of fencing for his farm, and he wants to fence off his field in a rectangular shape. He plans to put the fence in front of two structures, meaning that the one side don't need any fencing, which is shown in this illustration. So. This is the question for our problem. What dimensions of the field will have the largest area? In solving the real-world application problem, first, we need to remember the formula for finding the area, which in this case is A equals x, y. And since there still are two more variables involved, which is the x and y, we still cannot solve the problem. In the second problem, we first need to remember the formula for finding the area, which in this case 
a equals xy. And since there are still two more vari variables involved, which is x and y, we still can't solve the problem. Now, let us look for more formulas that we can use. Since the perimeter is already given, which is 3600 feet or 3600, we can now find the value of x. Substitute the value of the perimeter, which is 3600 equals x plus 2y. After substituting the value of the perimeter, we can now find the value of x by transposing 2y, which will now give us 3600 minus 2y equals x. After that, substitute the value of x to the area formula, which is a equals 3600 minus 2y multiplied by y. By simplifying the given equation, we now get a equals 3600y minus 2y squared. After that, we now use the first derivative to find the maximum value, which is the first derivative of area, or a, equals 3600 minus 4. Now, we transpose 3600 to get the value of y, which is now negative 4y equals negative 3600. And by dividing both sides by negative 4, we can now get the value of y, which is 900. After all that, we now find the value of x by substituting the value of y, which is 3600 equals x plus 2 multiplied by 900, and this will equal to 1800. The answer to the question is 1800 feet by 900 feet will give RJ the largest area of the rectangular field. That will be all, and thank you for listening.